guys, what's up? It's Shay, and today I want to talk to you guys about my first time purchasing clothing from the men's section. So as you guys know, the last time I talked about shopping in the men's section was when my mom wouldn't let me buy that discount sweater. A lot has changed since then. Believe it or not, I took my mom shopping with me and I bought almost all men's clothing and she saw why I prefer it that way. I have a very high waist and weird leg measurements that don't really work out for women's clothing. So I put on a pair of men's pants and she goes, wow, those fit you better than the girls' pants. And I'm like, I know. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. As you guys know, I work retail. I told you that in my last video. If you haven't seen that, feel free to check that out. But I work retail and we were running a 40% off employee appreciation sale. Now we do have a women's section in my store, but all the clothes there are kind of like low cut low, tight fitting, you know, I, and I am not really cool with that. Like I prefer to dress comfortably, modestly, all that fun stuff. And I've been wanting to change up my style lately. So buying something super preppy wasn't really a look I was going for. So I walk into the store and all of my coworkers are there and they're like, oh hey, are you here to use your 40? And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm here for. Uh, so I pick up an Adidas shirt out of the women's section that I like. Then I meander over to the guy section. I'm a little nervous because, you know, I usually dress pretty feminine when I go to work. So they're all kind of like looking confused, like, what's she doing over there? But I pick up a couple t-shirts that, that I've been eyeballing for a while because graphic tees are graphic tees, right? No big deal. But then I go over to the men's joggers. You know, the pants with the drawstring and the tight ankle because I think they look cool, I like them. So I go over the, to the joggers and I pick up a couple pairs to try on. And at this point, a couple people are looking at me a little funny. Now, shopping is already incredibly difficult for me as a person who's recovered from anorexia. Like, having people look at me while I'm shopping is anxiety inducing. But I, you know, I didn't say anything. I just went on about my business. So I take these clothes into the fitting room and I'm really excited to see how they look because I've really been digging the like more androgynous type of styles. I've been watching a lot of Ari Fitz, Shannon Beveridge, and you know, like Allie Hill, Stevie Bobby, people like that who kind of rock that feminine but also masculine, that kind of androgynous type of look. I'm not trying to go full Ari Fitz because I don't think the world is ready for that. I just switch on them like that for one day. And I don't have the eye for style like that. If I did, if anybody wants to hook me up and like make me a lookbook, I'd be totally open to that. But anywho, I went and tried on the clothes and here are a couple pictures of those. And you know, I was feeling very confident and very comfortable in them. And I think that's important when we go shopping, you know? I, I usually feel insecure, very insecure when I'm shopping for pants, especially because of this, the way they're sized in the women's section. Like I could be a four or I could be a 14 because vanity sizing. Like no one knows what any of these numbers mean in the women's section. And that's one thing that I really appreciated about shopping in men's this past shopping trip was that I could go, hey, these are my numbers. These numbers belong to me. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna pick up some clothing for my numbers and I'm gonna be done with it. Like I know they'll fit and it was a beautiful thing. So beautiful. Anyway, so I try on the clothes and I'm feeling pretty good. But now that I'm home, I'm not quite sure if they were exactly the aesthetic I was going for. Again, I'm really digging the like, Shannon Beveridge look. Like she's doing the kind of feminine with masculine touches that I think is really cool. And I'm not quite sure if the pieces that I picked up on this past shopping trip fit the aesthetic that I'm going for exactly. So I might be making a couple returns, which again will be awkward because everybody in the store knows me. So when I was buying them, they're like, you like those? So when I go to return them, they'll be like, I knew you didn't like those. Um, but you know, it'll be whatever. I'm a human, I do what I want. But anywho, so I've been trying on these clothes. I'm trying to kind of go for something that makes me feel more comfortable because I've been dressing for other people for a while and I, I kind of like to have a style that's my own, a style that makes me feel comfortable and confident and that represents who I am as a person, you know? So yeah, I'm sure you guys will be seeing that evolution as it comes about. 
I'm not gonna do a full like wardrobe overhaul. I'm just gonna be adding pieces as we go. And hopefully by maybe the end of the year, my aesthetic will be something that I'm proud of, something that represents who I am. So that's all I really had to say about that. Let me know what you think about the pieces I did pick up. Let me know if you have any tips on how I can kind of blend that masculine androgynous style into my wardrobe more seamlessly. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks for shopping in the men's section or even shopping in the women's section while adding some more androgynous type styles to the mix, you know? I'm totally lost here when it comes to fashion. So any advice, tips, whatever you guys have for me would be great. If any of you wanna make me a lookbook, that's even better. <laughs> all right guys, that's all I have for you today. I'll be talking to you so, so soon. I love you and thank you so much for all of your love and support, all right?